Hi, it's Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. Hope you're well. In this video, I'm just going to very quickly go through and show you how I overcame uh, the problem with BBC iPlayer um, crashing a lot and buffering a lot and a little bit with the ITV Hub player as well, but much, much more um, with the BBC iPlayer. I was really struggling to watch programs on that. Um, so I tried a few different things. The obvious thing would be to say, oh, it's the Wi-Fi. Um, but I tried things like a TP-Link um, router, TP-Link access points. For those of you who subscribe to the channel, and if you don't subscribe, why don't you? Please do subscribe. Um, you will know I'm a big fan of Unify Kit, so I even upgraded to Unify Kit, but I was still getting the problem. Now, there might be something in it being a wireless related problem, but I tried Fancy Kit, which never lets me down, and I was still struggling. So I just knocked it on the head. I'm sure I could spend more time on that and explore that. But what I decided to do was buy this uh, little device, which is an accessory for the Amazon, um, Amazon stick. And basically this overcame my problem. So all this is, is an ethernet adapter um for the fire stick basically so what all we're going to do is we're going to use this to make the fire stick use a wired ethernet connection instead of wireless basically so you're no doubt familiar with your own amazon stick something like this the version's very little but you get the idea so all that happens is this connects into this using the same connection you use for the power in it so that connects into here like so, and then your power plugs in as normal to this one instead, and it generates the power for this. But what this then allows you to do is connect something like, the, here we have an ethernet cable into it, and that basically means my Amazon stick is now hardwired in. So it no longer uses Wi-Fi. I've taken any potential Wi-Fi problem out of the equation, and I can use a nice wired connection. The idea is you plug the other end of your Ethernet cable, ideally directly into your router. Now, it might be the case of you can't plug directly into your router because of where your router um, lives. It might not be anywhere near your TV. That's also fine. What you can use is some of these. You use two of these. These is something called a power line adapter. And all this does is plug into an existing plug in your in your house and you have one of these for the router and one of these for your fire tv stick so the cable in my case plugs into here that then plugs in at the wall looks something like that and it's plugged in and then you have another one of these plugged in for the router with a network cable from this to your router and these two little boxes talk to each other over your um, electric circuits in your house and gives you a wired connection. So like I said, allows you to wire in like this. And ever since I've done this, ever since I've used the little ethernet adapter for the Fire TV stick and used my ethernet cable into my power line adapter, um, I no longer have problems with the BBC iPlayer using an Amazon Fire TV stick. And likewise, problems with the likes of the ITV hub, or the, um, what's the one for Channel 4? I've forgotten the name of it. Uh, More 4 maybe or something like that. Uh, 4 On Demand, whatever it's called. Same applies with that as well. The problems I was getting with the buffering or the program crashing or it telling me there's a problem. Or with my iPlayer, I was getting things like I get an hour into a program and then it would start the program again on its own. It would go back to the beginning. It was really odd. And I never managed to, to get to the bottom of it until... I use the little Ethernet adapter for the Fire TV stick. And the real good thing here is the Amazon um, adapter, the Ethernet adapter, I think is only about £15 at the time of filming this video. And if you need some power line adapters like these, um, I think these are only about £30, maybe something like that. I will leave links to both the power line adapters and the Ethernet adapter for the Fire TV stick down below. So you can just click on the links, check out the products yourself. It's nice and simple. It's really quick and easy. You can get this stuff installed and configured and working um, in, well, 
in five minutes, certainly less than 10 minutes, you'll have it up and running, no problem at all. And hopefully, like it did for me, it will resolve your issues with the iPlayer, specifically when using an Amazon Fire TV stick. So I hope that's helped you in some way. And um, if it has, please do smash that like button for me. Likewise, if you've enjoyed the video, please smash the like button for me. And please do subscribe to the channel. Um, it really helps us grow. It spreads the word about us. YouTube like it when you smash the like button and subscribe for us. So please do that. Um, I think in the background, my cat may have made an appearance. So smash the like button if you like cats. And she did make an appearance. I'm not sure. I'll have to watch you back. But that's been me, Gavin, from Lucid Computer Solutions. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.